Recent test scores show a lot of Prince George's County students are not making the grade in English and math. It follows national scores released recently that confirm students fell behind when schools transitioned to virtual learning during the pandemic. News for us, Darcy Spencer breaks down the numbers and she spoke to a school board member about the path forward. The pandemic has caused learning loss across the D.C. metro area. The latest numbers from Prince George's County show 76 percent of students are not meeting expectations in reading English and language arts. Ninety five percent aren't meeting expectations in math. It's really about did the students meet the targets. The county's benchmark assessments were conducted in the second quarter in 2021. The numbers were discussed at a Board of Education work session last week. We know our children are achieving more than this number. And I, I'm, so, I'm so eager for us to get to some understanding. And some say more data are needed to understand the loss and how to get students to where they need to be. This board has zero picture um, of what percent of our students are able to read on grade level. Board member Shayla Adam Stafford would like to see the data broken down. How are students of different races doing? Multilingual learners and special education students. She wants to see goals set to get students back on track and funding directed at programs that are working. Parents and community members want to know you know, all of this funding we're spending on interventions, you know, if they're not working, what are our other options? What else can be done to really provide students with the support that they need? In Montgomery County, standardized MAP test scores are expected to be released next month. The superintendent says tutoring and staff development are in place to help with losses. They're seeing an elementary school literacy as well as math. Mathematics um, internally in our middle schools across the board um, and, and in our high schools, that's also, we've seen more of a dip in, in math, particularly. It is a national trend being dealt with on the local level. Prince George's County, like other districts, is investing in tutoring, software, and equity learning hubs to make up for that learning loss. Darcy Spencer, News 4.